Hey friends, welcome to Sojo Videos. Today we're gonna be painting some Walmart shoes. Woo! I've got my setup outside. Let's go. It's nice weather. I'm ready. So this is kind of an old trend about painting your shoes like on TikTok, on YouTube. I saw a bunch of stuff about it, but I just want to try it for the first time today uh, using these shoes I got from Walmart. I'm at my local Walmart. I'm looking for white shoes. Like these. Oh, these are bendy. We're gonna get these. Woo. So yeah, I got these and they're kind of just white canvas or fabric shoes, not like the usual leather ones that most people use. We're just gonna start painting. So I actually first drew up some designs to see where I wanted to paint. I'm not gonna be painting any specific designs, just color blocks, but I made some designs on Pixart. You can see it on the screen. I went through a lot of different variations, the brush function and just colored on where I thought some designs would go, what looked nice. I took pictures from different angles so I could see what it would look like on the actual shoe. And I ended up picking this design. So I'm gonna use these designs as reference while I'm painting my shoes. So just to show you guys the paints I'm using, I'm just gonna be using acrylic paint. There's probably better paints out there, also fabric paint since this is canvas shoes, but I only have acrylic paint, so I'm just gonna use that. And also when you're done painting, some people use a sealer like Mod Podge for outdoor stuff. I also don't have that, so I'm just gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using a green and brown base, going for like a mossy matcha natural kind of deal. But obviously I'm gonna need to make things lighter, more tinted, so I've got these other colors used for mixing. I've also got some tape here. It's normal masking tape. It's to tape up the parts that you don't want to be painted on, like the soles and some other places. But I don't have like painter's tape or vinyl tape or that good stuff. I literally have masking tape. I don't know how much this actually helps, but I'm just gonna do it just in case, cause I make do with what I have. And most of these things I've all bought from the dollar store, obviously except for the shoes. Um, so yeah, I don't think this project is that expensive and it's pretty doable. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the shoelaces as I don't want to get paint on them and I'm planning on keeping them white. <laughs> Now I'm going to start taping them up. I'm going to tape the soles and everywhere else where I'm not painting. And again, I'm going to be looking at the reference I made from before. So I got my shoes taped up and just looking at my reference photo, I'm gonna be putting brown over here, light green over here, light green over here, dark green over here, and then brown over here. Ideally, I want my colors to stay constant, like for the whole, like both shoes. So I'm gonna try to keep in mind how much I'm mixing in terms of what paint for which, and also maybe just make a lot at once so then I can just keep using it for the whole shoe. painted the eye hole parts. I don't know what this part of the shoe is called, okay? Give me a break. Also, my paint splattered. Try not to do as I did. Hopefully painting over it will hide it. I have one last brown part and that's just the heel of the shoe. For the brown, it turned out way darker than I was expecting. So maybe a tip for when you guys do it is anticipate the paint to be darker than you think it is. I mean, I'm still not mad, but it is just a little darker than I thought, but that's okay. Let's finish this up. <gasps> oh, pfft. oh my god. Okay, that's why you put tape, guys. <laughs> Done with the first shoes brown. 
now I'm gonna get the second one done. All right, finished the brown for both shoes, looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna start on probably the dark green. That's just gonna be these stripes there and on the inside as well. I'm probably not gonna use the normal dark green I have. I'm gonna lighten this up. I was gonna use this to lighten it up, but it's like kind of neon green and I kind of want it more like a beige-ish muted tone. So I've got like the beige tan colors over here, also white to lighten stuff up. So let's try to get a nice color. <laughs> the darker green for these is looking pretty good so far in my opinion anyways one thing i'm trying to make sure of is also like making sure that there's no white spots left on the paint sometimes where they're like in between because this is a canvas shoe there's like pieces on top so i'm making sure to like paint over and onto those and also like any little details or sparse places where you can still kind of see that it's not as pigmented i'm just going over it with another coat of paint you want to make sure coat the paint and then cover all the white or sparse parts. Yeah. And then I'm gonna paint the second shoe once I've cleaned this one up. Done. The dark green parts for both shoes. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Lastly, I've got the light green. I'm just gonna try to lighten up the last mix that I had. So it's kind of like the same shade, but just like more beige lighter. So I'm gonna add light beige, white, Hope for the best. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be putting it around this area and it also kind of loops onto the back heel. Gotta make sure to paint all of those, filled in all the sparse parts as well. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've never painted my own shoes before. This is very fun. And then we'll be basically finished. <laughs> like so far oh my gosh honestly it looks like my drawing pretty good so the last green part is this middle white part over here so we're just gonna finish painting that and then we can paint the other shoe take the tape off and celebrate Woo! <laughs> basically done. I think that looks sick. For these kinds of shoes, it had like a fringe, so I kind of just kept it without painting over it. And honestly, I kind of like it. It highlights the colors a little bit. Should we do a cool, cool, cur, ha, hu, I can speak English. Shall we do a cool transition? Oh shoot, I messed that up. Um, oh, so much for a cool transition. Just kidding, we're still gonna do one. Wasn't that such a cool transition? Why did nothing change, you ask? Um, I want to peel this tape off and show you guys because that's much more satisfying. <laughs> oh my god, that is so satisfying. I'm doing such a bad sh time showing it. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so dumb. Why no one tell me? I didn't paint this part yet. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of clean. What the heck? I did such a bad job taping this. Okay, well, I'm just doing it to defend myself. Okay, that was pretty clean. You gotta admit that one was Ask 
close Baby, take it real slow Maybe we should lay low Just watch as the days go Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. That was pretty cool. I like the shoes at least, and it was very fun to make, very quick, did not cost all that much, so I highly recommend it. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't, follow me at Sojo Videos, and follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Sojo Live. Maybe we'll catch me on there sometime soon. Alright, anyways, see you in the next video. Bye!